Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICC Mathematics Class 8, Chapter 27, Exercise 27A, Question Number 1. This is, find the surface area of a volume of a cuboid whose dimensions are. Now, what is the surface area of a cuboid, right? So basically, what is a cuboid? First, we will talk about that. So you must have seen your rectangles, right? Your rectangles like uh, this. Okay, in rectangles, what do you have? You have length and you have breadth of equal size. So, over here, what we will do, we will increase the heights, right? We will provide some height to that thing. And after that, the thing that you will obtain, the figure is called 3D figure because it has three dimensions, length, breadth and height. So, that's why the cuboid will be a 3D figure like just uh, see over here. I'll try to make one th something like this right so now we can see from the inside it's appearing like a cuboid only right so that's what it is three dimension figure it's called because it has three dimensions the lo longest one is generally the length the one the that is in between that's your breadth and the shortest one is generally the height but you can take any over here so you can see we have 3 meter, 5 meter and 7 meters. Now what is surface area of the your cuboid? See my cuboid has 6 faces. Okay. 1, 2, 3. I'll make it here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then this one here in the front. This entire thing. That's representing what? The 6th one. So I'll just make it like this. A bigger face. Right. One at the back and the one in the front two okay one here one there four one on the top one on the bottom total six faces are there in the cuboid and the total area combined of these six faces is called the surface area of the cuboid so very simple formula for calculating the surface area uh, or volume also we have so surface area is very simple we have got the surface area as twice of length into breadth plus breadth into height plus length into height okay so just put the values down and you will see that your surface area is ready now you can see why have we done this formula try to understand this in a cuboid you will find what that first of all your top faces are made up of length and the breadth and you can see the faces on the sides this left and this right sides these faces are made up of height and the breadth and the faces in the front and the back are made up of length and the height length and height in the top length and breadth and in your uh, left and right you can see breadth and height so there are two two faces each Right, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. That's why we have done twice. Now put the values. So you will have twice into LB. So LB, let's say 3 and 5. So 3 into 5 plus 5 into 7 plus 7 into 3. So all the possible combinations, you can see, all the possible combinations will be made over here. You can see 3 into 5 is there. 5 into 7 is there, 7 into 3 is there. Then only your surface area will come. If you have written any number wrong, then it will not come. Now, solve. So you have twice into twice of 15 plus 35 plus 21. So twice of 5, 5, 10 and 1, 11 and 1 carried over. So 2, 4 and 3, 71, that is what, 2, 1, 42 and the unit of surface area is square meter. It is surface area, so area is always in square meters. Next is the volume, volume, what is the volume, very simple, length into breadth into height, volume is the total space occupied by a figure just like in the 2d figures we have the area for 
calculating the total space occupied by the figure. Here in 3D, we have got the volume that calculates total space occupied by my entire 3D figure, right? So put the values and solve and the unit will be cubic meters, right? Cube you put, not square, keep that in mind. So we have got length 3 and 3 into 5 into 7 cubic meters. So 3 into 5 is 15 and 15 into 7 is 105 cubic meters and that is your final answer and the volume. Let's move on to the next part. Now next one here we have got again three dimensions one is 4.8 meters another one is 80 centimeters and another one is 50 centimeters. So what we will do is see over here you have meters and here centimeters. So three different uh, uh, units, not three different, two different units, meter, centimeters. So whenever we are calculating anything, okay, either be it surface area or volume or lateral surface area or anything in a cuboid, then the dimensions have to be same. The unit has to be the same, okay. So the unit will not change, anything else might as happen. So you will see over here, we have 4.8 meters, 80 centimeters, 50 centimeters. So I'll convert the centimeters into meters to make this thing easier. 4.8 meters will be as it is. 80 will become 80 upon 100 meters and 50 again upon 100 meters. This is my first step, okay. So why upon 100? Because one meter has got 100 centimeters. So let's cancel and let's see what do I get here. Right, I'll make this thing into decimals. So I have a look here 0 0.8 meters and 0 0.5 meters. Okay, 4 by 5 I got here. So I have converted 4 by 5 into decimals by dividing that is 0 0.8 meters. And here I got 1 by 2 so that again I have made decimal by dividing that is going to be 0 0.5. Now the question is to calculate the two things surface area let's calculate it first so the surface area is what twice or twice of length breadth plus breadth height plus length height now you will see over here that we will put the values 2 into length into breadth that is 4.8 into 0.8 plus breadth into height that is 0 0.8 into 0 0.5 plus length into height that is 4.8 into 0 0.5 right that's it you can see and put the unit as well square meters now see if we will multiply and check each one of these one by one so so this will be what see twice of 4.8 into 0 0.8 8 8 is a 4 6 carried over 32 and 6 3 84 put decimal point after two places plus 0 0.8 into 0 0.5 so 8 into 5 is 40 and put decimal point after how many places two places so 0 0.40 and plus 4.8 into 0 0.5 again this is what see 8 fives are 40 and 4 carried over so 240 put the decimal point after two places here and square meters now add all of them and see what do you get 3.84 one number then we've got 0 0.40 and then you've got 2.40 so add them this is your 4 12 to 16 and one here so that's your 6.64 so twice of 6.64 square meters that's your surface area two fours are eight say 12 and one there so 13.28 what square meters that is your surface area now we come to volume so volume is very simple the volume is length into breadth into height that is 4.8 into 0 0.8 into 0 0.5 so this is what see 4.8 into 0 
we've already done it over here 3.84 into 0 0.5 here remaining right so we have 5 fours are 0 2 carried over 8 into 5 40 and 2 2 4 carried over again 5 threes are 15 and 4 19 and put the decimal point after 1 2 3 so three places here 1.92 uh, cubic meters right you can put the unit now let's move on to the next part now see the last part here 2.4 centimeters 16 millimeters and 4 millimeters so again you can see centimeters millimeters millimeters make the unit same so i will convert centimeters into millimeters that will be what let's see so 2.4 so centimeters what centimeter 10 millimeters so 2.4 into 10 millimeters comma and then 16 millimeters is already there and 4 millimeters is also there so that's what 24 millimeters uh, sorry 24 millimeters 16 millimeters and 4 millimeters all the three dimensions are now in the same unit right so we will calculate their surface area and the volume so let's do that surface area first right so we i don't think i need to explain much just use the formula and you will find the surface area twice length into breadth plus breadth into height okay so plus breadth into height plus length into height now you will solve this what do you get see twice of length into breadth 24 into 16 right and plus breadth into height 16 into 4 plus 4 into 24 and uh, now solve that you get here and you can keep on putting the units aside if you feel like although only put it in the last but i'm still putting it so 16 into 24 16 4 is 64 and 6 carried over 32 and 6 384 here plus 16 into 4 that's 64 plus 4 into 24 that's your 16 and 196 now see that's what twice of now add 4 4 8 6 14 so 4 here 1 there so 8 1 9 9 19 and 6 uh, sorry 18 and 6 24 and 2 carried over last 3 plus 2 5 nothing else in 100 so 5 here now this is what see 8 8 1 0 1088 square millimeters right so here also square millimeters in all the places okay that's your surface area 1088 now next is the volume so volume is what length into breadth into height so again put these things down 24 into 16 into 24 cubic millimeters solve this let's take uh, 16 so that we've already done 384 let's solve the bigger one using make this easy here right 24 x 16 here 384 and then into 4 now that is what 4 4 is a 16 and 1 32 and 1 3 and 3 carried over here so 4 into 12 is 12 uh, 4 into 3 is 12 and 3 15 1536 cubic millimeters that is your volume and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye